Hi, this presentation outlines the microcontroller subteam's contributions to the electric tongue jack redesign phase two project, which was sponsored by Strongberg Carlson. From left to right, the team members shown in the image are Jay Schimler, Jacob Kucha, Ryan Beatley. This project was hosted by the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department and advised by Trevor Hassel. So before we discuss the project in more detail, we want to first explain what a tongue jack is. A tongue jack is a device that is fixed to the front or tongue of a camper or trailer. Shown on this slide is an animation demonstrating a tongue jack's main features. The tongue jack is used to couple and decouple the trailer from a truck, as well as level the trailer from front to back. In the upper right hand corner of the slide is an image of the Stromberg Carlson electric tongue jack that was redesigned in this project. The sponsor for this project is a Stromberg Carlson, an RV product manufacturer. They seek to have one of their existing electric tongue jacks redesigned to implement a variety of smart features, such as auto level, return to a saved hitch height, and actuation from a mobile device. Implementation of these features would improve a user's experience by aiding them in coupling and decoupling their trailer, as well as leveling the trailer from front to back with just the press of a button. Due to the large nature of this project, three subteams were formed. A power electronics team for developing circuitry capable of actuating the jack, a phone application team responsible for developing an Android phone app to allow a user to control the jack remotely, and the microcontroller team whose objectives in the project were to design a printed circuit board complete with an accelerometer and a microcontroller. The microcontroller should be programmed to facilitate Bluetooth communication with the phone app and send actuation commands to the power electronics to implement smart functionality in the jack. Shown in this slide is a high-level diagram illustrating the components included in the jack's redesign. The upper yellow box shows the physical components included in the current jack design, and the bottom three boxes explain the components being added in the redesign. The power electronics team, the bottom right orange box, is adding a motor driver to actuate the jack motor. Our team, the microcontroller team, shown in the bottom middle blue box, is adding a microcontroller and accelerometer to allow for smart feature control. The application development team, the bottom left purple box, is developing a phone app to allow for remote control of the jack. Next, we will talk about the final solution delivered by the microcontroller subteam. The image on the screen shows the team's custom-made PCB with major components outlined in yellow boxes. The board contains numbers one and two, a microcontroller and accelerometer, which implement functionality of the smart features. Part three are connection terminals used to connect the physical wires of the jack to the board. Finally, number four are header pins, which are used to connect to a separate power electronics board. The separate power electronics board directly connects to and actuates the jack motor based on signals received from those header pins. Shown on, the, on this slide on the right is an image of the final design attached to a trailer. Shown also in the left image is a screenshot of the application team's final design. Load testing was conducted using separate microcontroller and power electronics PCBs and actuation of approximately 1,000 pounds was completed successfully. Functionality of the smart features were also tested. The phone app was used to demonstrate the system's ability to automatically level the trailer, save and return to a stored hitch height, and actuate from a mobile device. Some future considerations the team has for this design include implementing additional safety features, such as using current sensing to detect obstructions and adding a custom Bluetooth connection pin to avoid a user from connecting to a jack that isn't theirs. The manufacturability of the product will also need to be improved in addition to reducing the final cost of the product. Finally, the microcontroller and power electronics boards could be combined into one board to improve reliability. And finally, we would like to thank the following people for their assistance in this project. A special thanks to the sponsors, Stromberg Carlson and advisor, Trevor Hassel.